strange quake swarm in Nevada volcanoes, magnitude 2.9, 2.8, five or six quakes in the past two hours near Steamboat and Soda Lake volcanoes. And I'm looking at this because, you know, we have so many volcanoes in Nevada, especially uh, we noticed the earthquake swarm just east of Long Valley Caldera, which has had hundreds of quakes every day. But this, this is what the Caldera field looks like in Nevada, just east of California. It's, uh, as you can see, quite impressive. Now we'll take a look at uh, the location of this swarm on the maps and see what's going on there. Okay, this is the area that we're talking about. And uh, this is, uh, they, were they were all red, but uh, now they're starting to turn blue. This is the area that we're talking about. And if we pan out Fernley Sink, and this is just uh, northeast of Lake Tahoe, that's Pyramid Lake right there. This is Lake Tahoe right here. And this is our area. And this is another area that we're talking about. That's, that's, this is the area of Long Valley Caldera. Uh, even though this is Nevada, you can see we had hundreds of quakes here. I guess there's a lot less today, but something is going on there, obviously. This is an area of a lot of magma. We know that we have deformation there because it's uh, filling with magma, this area here. We also have a geothermal plant, and uh, we know that Long Valley Caldera is a very high threat volcano, and it's one of the super volcanoes of the world, one of the two super volcanoes if not more, of the United States. But this is what I want to look at, Th this area here. Uh, the volcanoes of Nevada, they don't have all of them here. We're talking about Soda, La Soda Lakes is not even on the map. I mean, there's about 10 volcanoes here, but there's a lot more. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Soda Lakes, because that's where we're... Uh, there's Soda Lake Volcano. This is our the quake swarm that we've had. And this is an air, another area of uh, buttes. And this is one of the Soda Lake Volcanoes, so, uh, Steamboat Springs, Soda Lake Volcano. And um, that's our area. Now, going back to this, Soda Lakes Volcano, Nevada, two lake-filled basaltic Mars explosion craters, Soda Lakes and Little Soda Lake lie northwest of the town of Fallon, Nevada. That's our area. Okay. Sorry. Let's pan out a little bit. Okay. And that's our area. The Mars were formed subaerially, post-dating the Pleistocene Glacial Lake La Hontan, and were estimated to be less than 10,000 years old, perhaps even less than 1,500 years old. The larger Mars Soda Lake is about 1.3 to 2 kilometers wide and is elongated. The 300 meter wide Little Soda Lake lies south of Soda Lake. The late Pleistocene Upsal hogback cones lie to the north northeast of Soda Lakes. And uh, that's our area. Now let's go to our, I guess it's better if we go to our, this is a, I'll leave it, this is a volcano hotspot. WordPress is a fantastic site. The recent volcanic activity in Nevada. These are old articles, but this is what some of them look like. Aerial photos and all these cinder cones and lava flows. Uh, there are at least 10 known small volcanic fields in the state of Nevada. These are generally basaltic magma powered features, though there is one field with small rhyolitic domes and other with a pair of Mars. And this is the area where we, where we had our, I think this is just about the area where we had our quake swarms, the, the smallest quake swarms recently. With west, the in Nevada, it's generally an east-west stretching and thinning of the continental crust, allowing decompression melt to reach the surface through various faults. Stretching. The central portion of Nevada was also part of the massive Ingdenbright outbreak in Nevada, Utah, Colorado, about 38 to 18 million years ago, which left that portion of the state littered with calderas and their products. The northern part of the state 
shares part of the initial track of the Yellowstone hotspot after it triggered the formation of the Columbia River Basalt Group and moved northeast over the course of the last 70 million years. There are multiple calderas at track not associated with the older ignibrite outbreak. Number of monogenetic volcanic fields to the west of Nevada in California. These are typically near the western border of the Basin Range province. From north to south, these include Tahoe, Truckee, Inyo craters. The Inyo craters we know are part of the Long Valley caldera field. Uh, Inyo craters just to the south of Aurora, Bodhi, Big Pine, Ubibi, Sima, Pisgah, and Amboy. All those, of course, are in Pisga, Amboy. All those are uh, in California. But this is basically the same volcanic area that they're talking about. Just because you have a, a border between California and Nevada doesn't mean that they're not the same uh, area. Nevada is primarily arid to semi-arid. Um, cattle ranching, ga gambling relatively leading to divorce and marriage laws, okay. Uh, this is a fly geyser showing newly deposited travertine. Look at the colors on that. Isn't that something? Um, there's geysers there, as we know. Geothermal Energy Company drilling the test well at the same site. A map of uh, some of the area. So, Soda Lakes, this is where we are, just north of Soda Lakes. That's what we're talking about. Okay, this is where we've had our uh, earthquakes here today. Seven people reported this one, the 2.8. 17 people reported the uh, 2.9. Okay, they don't have any information on this, but uh, we just saw some information. Soda Lakes, for example. Um, it could have been 10,000 years ago or 1,500 years ago. Uh, Steamboat Springs. Let's go this one. Steamboat Springs. Uh, is volcanic field of rhyolitic lava domes located near Reno, Nevada. Nevada. It's between two and a half to 1.1 million years old, consisting of lava domes and flows. There are no recent eruptions, but it is hydrothermally very active. Contains about 50 hot springs, steam vents, and fumaroles. Thus, the name Steamboat Springs. It's not Steamboat Geyser of Yellowstone, but it's Steamboat Springs of Nevada. A small swarm. Uh, of earthquakes occurring, Steamboat, May 2008. Okay, well, this is the area that we have now. This is our swarm right here near Fallon, Fallon, um, between Car Carson City and Fallon, Nevada. So all of you there, please be very careful. And this is the activity here that we have just east of Long Valley Cordell Caldera, California, this area here. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.